Howdy folks, um, they make their phylacteries wide, they make their phylacteries wide, now before I start I have nothing to, nothing against people with qualifications and, um, and theology, um, but there's people with qualifications and theology that think they're something special because of their qualifications and theology. And they make their phylacteries wide. Now, now, who would you say that's a good theologian, Pastor? Uh, John MacArthur, someone like that. John MacArthur's a good the theologian. Because why is John MacArthur a good theologian? Because he comes against because John MacArthur comes against that that is wrong. I like John MacArthur. Right, so they make their phylacteries wide. So a phylactery, the priests what they did in Jesus' day, they used to have a they used to have a box. That, that that would contain a holy scripture and and they would put the box on their forehead um as a reminder that you know as a reminder that God is the ultimate God basically <laughs> right so they've got their phylacteries but what the priests used to do they used to they used to make their phylacteries as big as possible so they'd walk around with these great big phylacteries they used to walk around with these great big boxes on their head and they and, and they used to say look at me aren't i aren't i holy Aren't I holy with this great big phylactery on me head? With this great big box on me head? <laughs> right, so... There you go, so he's got a great big box on his head. He's made it as big as possible because he wants everyone to look at him. And to praise him. Jesus says... Jesus says to all the Pharisees, you do everything for show. You're a bunch of show-offs. And you're a bunch of great big heads. You're big heads. Jesus says you're a bunch of big heads. So they make their phylacteries wide. What is the modern day equivalent of a phylactery? <laughs> well, we've got here a title. We've got here a title of someone in the Church of England. Or or the Roman Catholic Church, or, uh, or the, or the, or the organised uh, Protestant Church, the man-made Protestant organised church, full of, full of people like this, the organised Protestant churches, they're full of people like this, the right honourable. Reverend, holy than thou, doctor of theology, professor and bishop, John Martin. So John Martin, he's part, you know, he's part of the uh, organised Protestant church, like the Church of England or the Roman Catholic Church. So they give them, they make their phylacteries wide by giving themselves great big titles. You know, they make they make them really big. Look at me, look at me with me great big title. Aren't I religious? Aren't I religious? And all the organised churches are run by people like this they're well educated and you've got to be well educated because these churches are just these churches today are businesses they're great they're businesses
So you have to be well educated to run them. So, um, so there you go. He's all religious. Um, he's all religious, but he doesn't tell the truth. There you go. He, he's all religious. He's got a great big phylactery. He's got loads of Bible. He's got lo He's got loads of Bible college certificates on his wall. So when you walk into his office, he's got all these Bible college certificates. He makes his phylacteries wide and he puts all these Bible college certificates up on his wall. Um, and he's got all these great big theology books. He's got his library. He's got his library of theo theology books. And he's never read them, you know. They're just there for show. He never reads them. They're, they're, they're just there for show. And he makes his phylacteries wide. Um, like I said before, I've got nothing against uh, people like John MacArthur who, who read their theology books, you know. John MacArthur reads his theology books, <laughs> They're not there for show. John MacArthur reads his. <laughs> but these lot, they don't read their theology books. Um, right, so they make their phylacteries wide. Look at me. Aren't I a great big head? Look at me with all my knowledge. Look at me with all my knowledge and my great big box that I've got on my forehead. Aren't I religious? So that's stage one. I will go on to stage two. But what I'd like to say, where's the fisherman in, all, in this organised church, folks? Where's the fisherman? I can't see no fisherman in leadership in this organised church. Where are they? Um, there's not a lot of them. Right, so we're going to stage two. God bless. Right, stage two. Beware of them that wear long robes. So we've got a we've got a priest here that is wearing long robes. So Jesus says, Beware of them that wear long robes. Who wears long robes? The Pope? Uh, the Arch Archbishop of Canterbury. Um, people in the Church of England. People in the organised traditional churches. The Roman Catholic Church. They wear long robes. And Jesus says, beware of them. Um... I, you know, most of them, most of them, they don't even know Jesus. They've been to Bible college. They've got all their Bible certificates. And they're just religious. They're, they're just all for show. So, um... So beware of them, folks. Uh, well, what would Jesus? What would Jesus? What would Jesus wear today? What would Jesus wear today? Well, Jesus was on the streets a lot of the time, so I suppose Jesus would wear trainers. Jesus would wear a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. Jesus would wear a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. Jesus would wear street clothing. Jesus would wear street clothing um, because um, that's what I think Jesus would wear today. Right. 
beware of them that wear long robes. Okay? I wouldn't touch these people with a barge pole. Right, we go on to stage three. Where is the fisherman? Right, where are the fishermen? The common man. Jesus called Peter, G Jesus called, called the common man to lead his church. Where's the common man in today's churches? In today's organised church? There are none. There's n there are none. Because the church... Because the church today is just like the church in Jesus' time. Jesus, Jesus says to them, you're a brood, brood of vipers, you're a brood of vipers, and you're, you're the synagogue of Satan. And it, it's, just, it's, it's just like the church that we have today. The church that we have today is a man-made, organised church. Uh, and God's people are going to have to come out of this man-made organised church. The Church of England and the Roman Catholic Church and the organised Protestant religion that is joined up to the Roman Catholic Church. The, people, the leaders, the, the, Christian, um, the Christian leaders are going to have to come out of those churches. See, where are the fishermen? Where are the, where are the common men? Peter was a fisherman. Jesus was a carpenter. Now I've got now I've got nothing I've got no grudges against the uh, people that are well educated, but I wanna see it I wanna see I wanna see things balanced up. You see, I want to see the fishermen in God's church. And where are they? I want to see things balanced up. I want to see the common man in God's church. Where are they? In the underground church. God's building an underground church. A new wine church. And that's where the fishermen are. <laughs> that's where the fishermen are. And... That's where the common man are. That's where the carpenters. That's where the carpenters are. That's where the builders are. And that's where the some of the well-educated people are. God's going to balance things up. There you go. So you can see. So you can see. You can see the same thing, thing that is happening in, in today's church as what happened in, in the days of Jesus. You can see the same thing going on. You've got the Pharisees, which is the Roman Catholic Church and all the organised Protestant religions. You've got the Pharisees, the synagogue of Satan, and Jesus... Jesus established an underground church, a new wine, a new wine skin, and the leaders were fishermen. The leaders of that church were fishermen, and um, and. And the org organised church in that time didn't like it. So they persecuted this church. They persecuted this church. And the same thing's going to happen. The same thing's going to happen. The organised church is going to do the same thing. They're going to persecute the underground church. Okay, God bless.